All right, today on Hack Your Content, I want to talk about creating long-form content using the AI content writer niches. Uh, I've purchased niches for my own uh, personal use and have been writing content that has been ranking on Google with it, which is a great thing. Uh, so let's get started. So when you get to the opening screen of niches, you will see a few ways that you can access long form document creation. You have one place that you can go through, which is the create new button at the top of the screen. Or as I will show you here, I'm gonna go through long form docs. And the reason I'm doing this is I wanted to speed up this particular um, tutorial on niches. So um, what I did is I took a keyword research tool um, in this case, I happen to use Writer's End, but there's lots of ways that you can get keywords and different keyword tools um, to look into. I chose the keywords, uh, long tail keywords, lo advantages of hardtail mountain bikes. Then I dropped it into an SEO optimizing tool. In this case, I used Neuron Writer, but you could use SEO, Surfer SEO, Phrase, there's lots of them out there. Uh, which helped me create an outline. So what you're going to see now is the outline that I've created. And I will show you now how niches will create long-form content out of this particular um, outline. So the first thing you need to do is you need to put in an introduction. So this is a good opportunity for me to show you the tools that niches has for long form, or just for blog post writing in general. So over on the left-hand side, uh, there are a ton of short form content tools available in niches. Today, I'm only going to concentrate on the ones that deal with blogs. So in this case, I want to create a blog post intro. So Niches has pulled in my title of my blog post, Advantages of Hardtail Mountain Bikes, and dropped it in so I don't have to enter it. Now I just click Get Content and wait for the content to generate. Usually takes a couple of seconds. Uh, the one thing that I've noticed with Niches is it really puts together some very detailed and longer introductions. In fact, they're probably long enough that you'll have to edit them down, uh, but you should be able to pull out good information out of here. Now, you may be asking, why did I choose this particular blog topic? It's very easy for just about any AI content writer to create a blog post on 10 reasons why weight loss is important or how to write a great blog post. Any AI writer can handle something like that. I chose this topic, A, because I've mountain biked for a long time, so I know about hardtail mountain bikes. And this is going to give me an opportunity to determine what kind of content quality I get out of this tool. So now we're going to copy the intro and drop it in. Now, I know this isn't a lot of fun for you to have me uh, to, to watch while I'm doing this, but I did want to point out why. I wanted you to see in real time how long it takes to get a base article put together. Uh, before I start doing that, if you look to the right, you will see in green, it says 784 generations available. What does that mean? So I purchased niches at AppSumo for $59 for a lifetime deal. Every month you get a thousand content generations. What that means is every time you generate a section of content, like you're going to see, uh, you will use a content generation. So essentially in a month, you could write 50 long form documents containing 20 sec sections each. That's quite a bit of content in a month. Probably wouldn't write that much, but you have plenty of uh, 
words and content that you can generate. So let's hurry up and get through this post. So you select your section title. Notice it says autocomplete. Click this little icon here on the side, generate text. And now you have your next section of content. So I'm going to do this for each section. And again, I know this is a little boring, but I think it's important for you to see how quickly the tool works. Um, in fact, I've used lots of different AI writers. Um, this one seems to generate content just about as fast as uh, most of them. So here we go. Our hardtail is easy to maintain. So the one thing that I, I want to caution you on is, um, I, because I tried to do this, I wanted to see if I could speed up this process. I selected like four uh, section titles and then tried to do uh, the autocomplete. And it will only do it one section at a time. You can't select multiple sections and use it that way. So I just want to caution you, if you try to do that, um, you're going to find that's not going to work. So we're just about done with this article. One thing that I would point out is in the editor, you don't have the option to turn these headings into H2s. Um, that is a shortcoming of the tool. I plan to go out to their Facebook group and mention that as an upgrade to consider for the editor. I think it would make it a lot easier because what you want to do is obviously you're going to copy this and you're going to drop it into WordPress. And it's nice to have those H2s there already. So we're almost at the end of the document. And a little bit more. That's done. So one thing I wanted to point out right now is in this conclusion, I wrote conclusion colon and then advantages of hardtail mountain bikes. And I wrote that because I wanted to see if niches would recognize this as a conclusion and write it up that way. And so again, do autocomplete. And what you'll see It auto-completed this sentence here. So you would start off the, the conclusion paragraph with advantages of hardtail mountain bikes are numerous. They are generally lighter and more affordable, etc. So it does recognize that it's trying to write a conclusion. And notice this document is 1,494 words, which is great. It's just about where you'd want it to be for a, for a blog post. Um, we started off with, I believe it was 784 generations, and now we're at 771 generations. So you can see each section, like I mentioned earlier, will, um, will reduce the generations available by one. So one thing I wanted to point out is there are a lot of other tools that are available when you select a piece of text. So, for example, you can use a content improver. Um, so if you didn't like the content in a sentence, you can ask it to change that. You can ask it to rewrite it. I mean, there's other things that you're able to, to do here uh, that will make blog post writing easier. So, for example, if I ask it to take this sentence, this makes hardtail mountain bikes a great choice for writers who want to explore more challenging trails and I do the rewriter and generate that. 
So it leaves this earlier sentence that, that I just mentioned and changed it to hardtail mountain bikes are an ideal option for those looking to tackle more difficult trails. So you can see how if you uh, want to rewrite little sections of the blog post, it's very easy to do. So the one thing that I want to do is jump over into Grammarly and fire Grammarly up. So here we are in Grammarly. I am going to copy this document that we just created. And I want to put it in Grammarly because I would like to do a plagiarism check. So again, that was almost 1,500 words. We'll drop it in. Grammarly is doing its thing here, putting together all of the suggestions that it would make. I love Grammarly. It's a really great tool for rewriting AI-generated blog posts to make them more readable and get a, you know, a better overall uh, score, uh, readability score. So now that we have this in Grammarly, let's go ahead and do a plagiarism check. So it takes a little bit of time for Grammarly to do this. Now there are plagiarism checking tools in niches. I, I have in niches. I haven't used them yet, uh, just because I have my own Grammarly account and I tend to like to make changes to the content here. But notice, we're talking about a 1500 word blog post that comes back at 2% plagiarism. There we go. 2% plagiarism. I mean, this is good to go. If, if you just wanted to publish it as is and not tweak this content, you could do that. Now, I would never suggest doing that. I think when you use AA content writing tools, you want to go through the article and you want to check it and make sure that A, everything in here makes sense and that the from, the, from a facts and data standpoint, it's correct. Now, I created the same article last night. I read through it. Yes, I have to tweak certain things. Um, you know, as a mountain biker, uh, there are a few things I noticed that needed to be tweaked, but I would give the content easily a B maybe even a B plus. I mean, just very little edits that need to be made to make this okay. Now, I, with any AI content writing tool, you want to take your articles, you want to add your own personal anecdotes, anything to show more authority in the topic, because that is going to help readers trust you more and uh, people will want to link to your content, which increases your domain rating, things like that. But in general, um, excellent content from niches. Now, if you're interested in this tool, it's available at AppSumo. And again, niches is a lifetime deal. It's a one-time purchase of $59. Uh, I purchased niches with my own money. I use it uh, frequently. I have Google content that is ranking with niches. Notice it's got 272 reviews. It's got a five taco rating. I don't know why AppSumo uses tacos, but that's what they do. And it's the highest rating that you can get. When I look at niches compared to other AI writers that I've purchased, uh, I find that, the, that I'm getting just a huge value out of this $59 one-time purchase. Uh, they have a very large Facebook group. Uh, the uh, developer claims that there's 12,500 members in the group. So there's a lot of people using this tool. And I've noticed that the, de that the developer does go into the Facebook group and answer people's specific questions as well. Now, one thing I wanted to point out before I end this video is you also get the capability of creating some AI images as well. So you can use uh, the Niches um, AI image creation tool and you get 15 images a month at no extra cost. So 
you know, if you just need a quick stock photo, not a stock photo, but if you just need some kind of quick image for a blog post, it's a neat way to generate one. And it will definitely be unique. So uh, in the interest of full transparency, I do want to say that I am an AppSumo affiliate. So I have a link in the description uh, for this video. If you purchase niche S using niches using this link, I will get a small kickback. So I just want to be perfectly clear about that. But uh, I do own this tool and purchase it for my own use. So thanks for watching Hack Your Content. Please like and subscribe. That helps the YouTube algorithm gods uh, push my content higher up. I want more people to see this. So if this has been helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Until next time, this has been Hack Your Content.